one, let me get a little bit closer for the introduction part. So this is all about spring refresh. Hello, I will just crouch down here. We are a little bit away from spring. I know it seems a little bit crazy to be talking about spring, but as we all know, you kind of have to plan ahead these days for what's in the stores. And before getting further, the store I'm talking about is Walmart. This video is sponsored by Walmart. It's part of my monthly Walmart ambassador program. So be sure to put in your requests for specific things you wanna see covered from Walmart. Happy to oblige your curiosity. But today we're gonna to be talking mostly about spring refresh and mostly about some amazing spring clothes. But I did buy a few things to start sprucing up the house, both inside and outside, just three things. I have a feeling next month, I'll be adding quite a bit more on the home side. So if you wanna see more of that, definitely watch next month as well. But let me share with you what I'm talking about. First two things are pillows. So I actually bought this last year. This is an outdoor throw pillow and I loved it so much. I got another one for this year. They're super soft. The one that I already have is really in good shape. It looks brand new. I just have a lot of outdoor seating and I love a lumbar pillow. And honestly, the way that I use this is I set it on my lap and I prop a book or my Kindle on it. So love this. And then I picked up a similar one for inside the house. I love the throw pillow options at Walmart right now. They are absolutely killing it. There are some available in store. There are some available online. I have heard from a few of you that you go to your Walmart after seeing some of my videos and you look for the stuff and you can't see it. That's because probably 90% of what I'm sharing with you, I order online myself. It's a lot more is online than in the stores. I'm not saying don't go to the stores. I'm just saying if you're looking for something specifically, there's a reason I linked all of it down in the description box. It's because I'm ordering it myself. So if you're looking for stuff I'm talking about in the video, definitely go check out the links. I list everything in the order in which I'm talking about it down in the description box to make it easier for you to find. So anyway, this pillow, super soft. It's just solid on the back. And then it has this nice kind of, almost like a sweater pattern on it. And then the last thing that I added, let me go grab them. I am really enjoying the Gap Home Collection. I redid Shane's, I call it his big boy room. I'm aware he's almost 21 years old, but his adult bedroom with Gap Home and they have kitchen stuff. And I love these accent plates. My everyday plates are just all white. So I thought it'd be really fun to add these. They're a set of four. And you have this thick stripe, this one, they're all blue and white the spots, and then this thicker stripe here. And I actually purchased two sets of four. So now I have a set of eight, four designs, two of each. I think these are so cute. They, are, they also have mugs, they have the full dinnerware set. I just wanted to add a few little extras to spruce up our everyday dishes for spring and probably summertime. All right, that's it for home for this video. Let me set these plates down. Now we need to talk about spring fashion. I know I say this almost every video, but I am really, really excited about the new releases at Walmart from their Walmart fashion stuff. It's incredible. So let's start with this dress and I will have sizes and of course the links and prices, those are important too, also down in the description box. So outfit number one, let's start with this gingham dress. I cannot even tell you how impressed I am with the quality of this. The elastic waist is nice for those of us whose waists are expanding more than contracting, no. I like this, and I also like that it's at the natural waist. This would look really cute with like a straw or raffia belt in it as well. I love the slits on the side, makes it a little less, let's say frumpy, a little more on trend. Pockets on the side seams, I mean, come on, this is fantastic. Even the little detail of this bow in the back, adorable. A Little bit of an A-line skirt, it flows. But I also found these, these braided flat sandals. How cute are they? Now, I will admit that my legs look better in a heel, but these are so comfortable. They're also basically the color of my skin. They're super comfortable, true to size. They, are, um, they have the memory foam in them. They slide on super easily. And I also picked out this cardigan, let me grab it, to go with it because right now, I can't walk outside like this. You can wear it in the typical blogger fashion. I'd still be freezing. So I love this cardigan, a slight balloon sleeve, 
fully functional buttons so I can wear it open like this over this dress. It matches perfectly, but I could also choose to button it if I want to. I think this will look really cute with high-waisted jeans or pants as well. You can do a little bit of a button, blouse it up a little bit. It's a whole look. So this is outfit number one. Outfit number two can be worn a variety of ways. I will admit when I saw this on the website, I thought, oh, Fiesta, because it's all the Fiesta colors right now. You can definitely wear it just as a dress like I am now. It is a little lower cut. I would more likely wear it with little camisole, little tank underneath. This drawstring waist is self-contained, no pockets. I think this would make an outstanding swimsuit cover-up. It's really lightweight, really drapey. I love the colors. Let me show you what I mean about the waist. So it's just inside here, fully adjustable, and then you can make it as tight as you want, depending on how you like it to fit. And then can we talk about these espadrilles? How fun are these? Gold with the saddle brown accents, a little bit more of an athletic sole to them. So comfortable, again, true to size. I am a size seven across the board in Walmart shoes, which I love knowing I can shop with complete confidence online. I just hit size seven, throw it in the cart, and we are good to go. You will be seeing these a lot this season. They're not completely, I mean, they're flat, but there's about a half inch to the platform, so a little bit more height. But this outfit too. One more thing before I spin right out of the frame. If you do wanna get a head start on wearing this dress before it is the height of summer, just grab a white denim jacket or any kind of denim jacket, throw it over it. With the closed toed shoes, you are a little bit more covered, a little bit more covered up, a little bit warmer, and then this can move right into the height of summer as a swimsuit cover up or just a very nice lightweight airy dress. All right, that's it for outfit number two. Let's see outfit number three. Outfit number three, I hate to play favorites. I really did like that olive green gingham dress, but this is so beautiful, watch. Whee! I mean, I am a sucker for a good midi length, almost maxi dress. The pleats, this really beautiful fabric, but can we talk about these colors? You have the hot pink background with bright orange and red, the ruffled neck, the ruffled sleeves, blousey top, pleated skirt. It's so fun. Where to wear this? You can wear it for a night out, date night. Would be great even as a wedding guest dress, I think. Depends on the venue. A lot of options. It's just so pretty. And because the skirt, is a different kind of cut from the top. You could even throw a sweater over this and get two totally different looks, but I love it. Speaking of fun colors, you have to check out these earrings. Let me get in a little closer. These are acrylic, maybe resin, red and orange with a little gold bead, gold metal at the top. They are light as air and they are so Fun, so if you have been wanting to wear statement earrings, big, fun, colorful earrings, but you're a little worried that something like that would be too heavy for your earlobes, rest assured, these are so fun. And I have got to tell you, I could have done a whole video just on the earring selection that they came out with this month. So if you are curious, I will link maybe three or four more options down in the description box under these earrings because they're all like $15 or less and they're so fun. It, they'll just bring a smile to your face. I will probably go back and order a few more myself. Anyway, this is now outfit number three, spinning around to number four. Here I am with outfit number four. See what I'm telling you about the color? It's incredible. The color combinations are coming up with. This blouse does come in other colors. If you aren't into this, orange and peach and blue, but I absolutely love it. The belt is not secured. You can take this right off. You can cut the loops off if that's what you're interested in. I actually like this. More often than not, I choose to cut stuff like this off, but I actually like how this drapes and it does have a cute little fabric covered button in the back. I'm not sure if you can see that, but I think this is a really versatile top. It looks great with these cream color jeans, which we're gonna talk about in a second but I could easily see this paired with more work appropriate pants or jeans, just 
So many options, I really love this. It is a little bit sheer. I'm wearing a nude bra and you cannot see it, but I did notice that when I was running my uh, lavalier mic on that I can kind of see the cable, at least up on the neckline. It is uh, lined though, so just wanted to point that out to you. Now, these jeans, these are wide leg cropped, well, you can't really tell because I'm short, I'm five foot four, cropped straight leg jeans, and unlike Every other pair of jeans that I have bought at Walmart, these do not stretch. So I'm wearing a size four. There's no reason for me to lie, but I just want you to be aware that these are the kind that are gonna suck you in. They are not gonna give. I kind of had to fight to button this and zip it up, but now that I'm zipped in, it has totally flattened out my stomach. So now I'm thinking I'm gonna keep these. I did keep the tag on just in case, but I, I, I like them. They're stretching, they're giving a tiny little bit, but there is zero stretch. So if you are concerned about where you are, I would say true size if you are really a true size whatever, but if you think you're in between, size up one because zero give on this one. But I like them. I didn't even steam them or anything. I really wasn't sure these were gonna work, but I like that they're not a true white. They're a little bit more of an ivory, and I think they're great for springtime. I like this little wider leg. I think it does a lot more for my legs than skinny jeans, even though I have more skinny jeans than not. So here's outfit number four. Let's move on to number five. We need to talk about this top. I know I said I had a favorite dress, but as far as tops go, this one, I shared this earlier on stories. This is incredible. I love everything about this. It reminds me so much of a favorite top I had years ago from a different retailer, and I wore it to death, and of course they discontinued it, and then Walmart came out with this one. I does come in other colors, but why would you want any other color than this beautiful, fun, sunny yellow? I say that, but I think I wanna get it in the other colors too. I am holding in my hand, just because someone's gonna ask, is the tag from my jeans? Just in case you're wondering, size four, crop wide straight. So back to this top, it's so fun. When it came out of the box, I thought, oh no, it's a crop shirt. It's not, it hits the top of the hip bones. It'd be cute with a little front tuck. This is pretty high-waisted. So fun, these sleeves are everything. There is a ribbing to the whole shirt. Let me get in a little closer. I think you can see the ribbing there. Super fun. I also picked up this really fun jacket. I know a lot of color, right? Why not? Let's just go for it. So this is a really, it almost feels like, um, like a, a denim. It's a heavy material or a twill. I'd say it's more like a cotton twill and I sized up to a medium because you can wear it as just like more of a shirt jacket, but in case you wanna wear it open, it gives you a little more room. And see those big ruffly sleeves still slid right into this, no problem. This is a fun jacket. I actually wore this in a video that will go up next month, and I wore it just as a shirt. And you can definitely do that. Isn't this cute? It's almost like a, a sort of a twist on a trench coat. Isn't this fun? I love the blue and the yellow together. Obviously this would go great over a whole host of colors, even just a basic white tank, but I love it. I absolutely love it. It's so fun for spring, a great transition piece, and you really get a lot of wear out of it. Like I said, you can wear it as a jacket. You can even wear it more like a trench and leave it open and then just tie it in the back. All right, let's pretend that I did a good job. <laughs> tying this, but you could leave it open and tie it in a trench-like way. It has the nice pockets on the side, so it's more of a true jacket this way. Or you could wear it like a shirt jacket, but a little more tailored than the shirt jackets we've been seeing the last few seasons. Okay, I have a few more things to share with you. Hang tight. I know, I've just been telling you how big color is this season, how I'm so excited about the pops of color. However, a big trend also for spring is black and white. It's not new, but they're bringing it back again this season. And I love a basic black top. There's nothing really all that basic about this top. Rowdy is really not happy that I'm doing this without him, so we're just gonna ignore him. Okay, he just wanted to check in. This is more of a Swiss dot material. I just want you to see it up close. And it has these little ruffles along the seams. These are really old from Walmart. The the boots are really old from Walmart as well. Maybe you order them from a previous video you saw of mine, so maybe you already have them in the closet. This is also something that I'm excited about. I love a blazer. This one is a little different. 
So this is the small. It's a little snug in the arms. It's gonna be great for spring though because I actually purchase this more to wear over sleeveless dresses when I get cold. So what is neat about this blazer is it has this drawstring. You could button it like so. I would never, but you could wear it like this and tie it and have it. I'm feeling a little Saturday night fever here, but let me get a little closer. You could also wear it open. And then if you want to give a little definition at the waist, you could pull these tight or tie them in place, tie them a little knot, give yourself a little definition. I think this is such a cute idea. Makes a typical, more dressy kind of piece of a blazer, a little more accessible, a little more casual. This also comes in black. But like I said, when I purchased this, I had this in mind to wear, like say over that gingham dress that I started out with. This would be kind of a dressier look over that than the olive sweater. This white goes with just a lot more of my sundresses, more springtime summery things than the black. That's my wardrobe. If you prefer the black, they have that too. If you're worried about the arms or if you wanna layer it over something a little bulkier, I would say size up to the next size up, especially because you can adjust the waist and make it fit exactly the way you want. All right, I have one more thing to show you and I'm going to actually wear it out for a very casual dinner. So let me change into that and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, last outfit to share with you. And it's really not the outfit that we're gonna talk about. It's just this top. I'm just wearing old leggings, old wedge sneakers. But this top I picked out because I think it'll be great for road trips or any kind of travel I have coming up. Yes, I can pair it with leggings and basically look like a ninja. <laughs> But it's also gonna look great over joggers or even um, skinny jeans. It's more of an athleisure wear type cut. It has this cowl neck. I have the little mic tucked in there if you're wondering. And I can make this tighter if I want to. But what I really like about it, instead of it just being a straight tunic that's just hanging down, it has this drawstring waist as well to add a little bit more definition. This actually came with, it didn't come with it, has matching more pants than leggings on the website. I'll pop in a picture of them so you can see. I think that would look really chic, especially with some nice pointed toe flats or um, they used to have those, I still have them, the, the open back loafers. I think those would look really cute. And we do have a road trip coming up. So I'll probably have this on the car, at least have this on in the car, at least one of the days. So that's it. That is this month's Walmart haul, a handful of really great home decor pieces, but this spring fashion is insane. And I didn't even really dive into it. In fact, I'm gonna insert here a collage that I made of some, actually I did two collages of pieces that caught my eye. I did purchase a lot of them, but not all of them. So like I said, it is incredible what's going on on the Walmart website right now. Be sure to check everything down in the description box so you have all the information you need. If you don't have something you need and you have any questions, feel free to ask down in the comments below. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure you're subscribed so I see you in the next one. Bye.